Hello welcome to part 39 of clinical physiotherapy MCQ series. Here we gon discuss day to day clinical scenario with detailed explanation. Now don't waste our time, let's move to question number 191. A physical therapist is prescribing therapeutic exercises for a patient to perform in the physical therapy gym. The patient had a left cerebrovascular accident two weeks ago with resultant right lower extremity paresis. The patient also has a history of gastroesophageal reflux disease. The physical therapist should avoid placing the patient in which of the following positions during the exercises? Option A sitting upright at 90 degrees, Option B standing, Option C supine, Option D sitting semi upright at 45 degrees. And the answer is Option C supine. Explanation to this answer is Neither the standing, sitting upright, nor semi upright position promotes reflux. Supine position could facilitate relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter and promote reflux from the stomach into the esophagus. Now let's move to question number 192. A 23-year-old college volleyball player complains of moderate pain resulting from a left hamstring strain four weeks ago. The focal point of pain and tightness is noted where a hematoma developed initially. The specific massage technique that would be most beneficial in this case is Option A friction, Option B kneading, Option C stroking, Option D deportment, and the answer is Option A friction. Explanation for this answer is, friction massage is effective when applied across, perpendicular, muscle fibers to stretch scars and loosen adhesions in the tissue due to the inflammatory process. Stroking is a relaxation technique and usually initiates and ends massage treatment. Some passive muscle stretching is performed with deep stroking, kneading aids in loosening adhesions and increasing venous return. Tapotment is used when nerve stimulation or lung decongestion is the desired treatment effect. Now let's move to question number 193. A physical therapist plans to use a tilt table for a patient who is having difficulty tolerating upright sitting. The therapist should stop inclining the tilt table when the patient experiences which of the following signs and symptoms? Option A decrease in diastolic blood pressure of 15 mm Hg. Option B increase in systolic blood pressure of 10 mm Hg. Option C increase in heart rate of 15 BPM. Option D decrease in oxygen saturation to 93%. And the answer is Option A decrease in diastolic blood pressure of 15 mm Hg. Explanation for this answer is, excessive drop in blood pressure is indicative of patient intolerance to upright posture, systolic blood pressure may increase slightly, and heart rate may increase slightly. Oxygen saturation of 93% is within the acceptable range. Now, let's move to question number, 194. A 59-year-old male patient is being evaluated for left shoulder pain. The patient reports that his shoulder pain is closely associated with activity, including stress at work. The patient reports that at worst, the pain radiates into his neck, and he feels shortness of breath which subsides with rest. What would the most appropriate intervention be? Option A Begin passive range of motion exercises within the pain-free range of motion. Option B Postpone treatment and refer the patient to his physician for further evaluation. Option C Apply modalities to the shoulder and instruct the patient on activity modification. Option D Begin the patient with rotator cuff exercises within the pain reduced range of motion and instruct patient on activity modification. And the answer is Option B Postpone treatment and refer the patient to his physician for further evaluation. Explanation for this answer is The correct answer is Option B This is the most appropriate initial action. The patient is having signs of cardiac distress that would be worsened with activity. Option A Passive range of motion is an excellent treatment for sore shoulders, but the patient is presenting with signs and symptoms consistent with cardiac distress, not musculoskeletal pain. Option C This is not appropriate considering the above information. Option D The pain is not originating from the rotator cuff, thus this would be a poor choice. Now, let's move to question number 195. A six-year-old boy born with my LM seal at the L2 level is referred for physical therapy treatment at home. In determining the physical therapy plan of care, it would not be appropriate to emphasize. Option A Gait training with a reciprocating gait orthosis. Option B Transfer training from floor to wheelchair. Option C Upper extremity strengthening with weights. 
Option D. Vigorous range of motion of the lower extremities. And the answer is Option D. Vigorous range of motion of the lower extremities. Explanation for this answer is, vigorous range of motion is contraindicated due to osteoporosis and risk of fracture. All of the other choices are appropriate to promote functional independence. So, that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please comment below. I think you have learned something valuable today. See you on the next part, that's part, 40. See you till then, bye bye.